Hello everyone, welcome back to another charm video. Today we're going to talk about how you can get started with contributing to charm. We get asked this question a lot. I know that people are very passionate about what we're building and have opinions on how things should work and new features that should be brought in. We are also a software company, so our team will typically make these decisions internally based on what aligns with our vision. I know a lot of open source projects have a similar experience where the author has to say no to various features and PRs because it just doesn't align with their roadmap for the project. It's just part of the process in open source. With all that being said, the best way to contribute to Charm is to help us by building with our stuff. It is everything to us to see the cool projects that the community is building, both for personal and work projects. It's incredibly valuable for us to see how companies are using our tools. We've seen the likes of GitHub and Amazon use us for their CLIs, for interactive TUIs, and for rendering Markdown on the command line. But of course, these efforts are often started by an individual at the company who is already using our tools for their side projects. Thank you so much for acting as ambassadors for us at your places of work. It really means everything. Some great personal projects that we've seen lately include a World Cup dashboard to keep updated on the game without leaving your terminal. And a longtime favorite of the teams is GitHub Dash, which allows you to see the status of your PRs, issues, all of that on the command line. We actually had Dolev featured on our Charm News segment not that long ago. I'll link it in the description in case you're curious to see his thought process behind GitHub Dash. Building command line tools are a great way to muster up new project ideas, practice your Go skills, and connect with other terminal lovers. It's fast to develop and can lead to a much better developer experience for yourself, for your team, and for your users. I also want to mention that we love seeing your videos that you're producing about our different tools. So keep up with that. We love featuring all of those videos on our channel. And that is another great way that you can contribute and be an active community member for us. It helps us grow and make products that are better suited to the demands of our community. So thank you so much for all the support. We really appreciate it. We build more than just TUIs, but we do have a few libraries that are dedicated to working with terminal outputs and making them more fun and practical. Those would be lip gloss for layouts and styling, Bubble Tea and Bubbles for the interactivity element, and Glamour for rendering Markdown on the command line. We also have more backend oriented libraries you can try that include Harmonica for really fun animations in the terminal. I'll link Moss's confetti project in the description. It's super fun. You can basically just have fireworks or, or confetti going off in your terminal. It's awesome. We also have Wish for making CLIs and terminal applications accessible over SSH because sharing is caring. And also HTTPS certificates are rough. And you can even use Charm Cloud as a fun way to handle SSH based identity in your apps and even just find creative ways to use it for yourself. We hope that our efforts in making the command line a fun and modern platform inspire you to lean into the power of terminals and CLI applications. Please let us know what you're working on because we would love to share it with our community. We also have some fun things for Lunar New Year to celebrate our ambassadors who are building with our tools. Subscribe to stay tuned for more on that. We'll be providing more information in the new year. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. The best way to connect with us is in the comments, Twitter, or in Discord. All of those are linked in the description. We'll see you next time. Bye.